In this season of draft mode, we go back to the basics. The two best duelists at Nightmount, James and Pat, will be revisiting the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Each episode, we will open 50 cards from either Legendary Mega Packs or Gold Series Packs. The minimum deck size is reduced to 20 cards, and the cards opened each set do not carry over. In addition, in order to level the playing field, the winner of each week will open one McDonald's promo pack, and they will have to play those cards in their deck. Therefore, the duel starts to rethink and revamp their strategy each episode. Welcome to Draft Mode Season 3. Legendary Collection 4, Joey's World Mega Pack, was released in North America on October 11th, 2013. This keeps us in the Duel Monsters era and delivers cards from our favorite citizen of Brooklyn, Japan, as well as his greatest rivals, from My Valentine to the Paradox Brothers. This set also imported 20 cards that had previously been OCG exclusives. Unfortunately, as Joey's a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck, this set is similarly underwhelming when compared to Yami Yugi's set from a year earlier. Fortunately for Joey, the real world TCG has been much kinder to him than the anime, providing some amazing cards associated with his name, such as Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, a staple in Dragon decks to this day. Once again, we will need to focus on the spells and traps in this set, with many of the same overpowered cards from the third mega pack making another appearance in this set. Pot of Greed and Regeki can still make or break decks this week, but with cards like Harpy's Feather Duster, Traps like Mirror Force, Nightmare Wheel, and Bottomless Trap Hole will have a harder time impacting the game. Also, for fans of the first season of Draft Mode, Lava Golem will be making another appearance. So, God help James. And now, let's get right into the polls. Alright, so I'm on a losing streak right now. It's two losses so far this season, which puts me down one game because I did win the first one. But... I think we'll be able to come back here. I think I just need to get back in the stride of things. I need to slow things down. I need to not make rash decisions. And I need to run something that actually has a payoff. Because that's not exactly what I'm doing just quite yet. But this will change with five packs of Joey's World Mega Pack. I love my favorite guy from Brooklyn. Let's go. All right, pack number one. Okay, so interestingly enough, I already got Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, which I'm pretty sure is like the best card in this whole set. Let's check it out. So this is an amazing card. So first of all, if I play a card, so let's just go back to what we were looking at before. So I've got Cave Dragon here. Go ahead and play this card. It's a normal summon four, four star monster. I play it, then I can special this, special summon this card specifically by banishing Cave Dragon and placing this card down. Then I can special summon one dragon monster from my hand or the graveyard. This is fantastic. This is going in the deck. No matter what, I am playing this card with any dragon cards that I also get. In addition to Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, I also do have Injection Fairy Lily, which is really good if I want to really go over on something. Fiend Skull Dragon, interestingly enough, if I can somehow get this into the graveyard, I can actually summon it off of Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. So that's a possibility. All right, next pack here. I mean, I don't think anything can beat the first pack, okay, in all honesty, but we'll see what we get. Oh, we got, are you okay? So we got Regeki. If I lose this, <laughs> this is ridiculous. We also got a Jinzo. What the heck? I don't really care about the rest of this stuff. Blowback dragons, eh, meh. I'm really looking for just dragons at this point, just to throw on the field. Uh, this is insane. I don't really know what. <laughs> I don't know what else to do at this point, but this is great. All right, so here we are with the Joey's World Mega Pack. Uh. Kind of excited for this pack? Kind of not really, you know. I talked about in the breakdowns. The um, the monsters, Joy's monsters, they suck. They just suck. Uh, okay, but then we open up Pot of Greed in the first pack, and um, I don't know if, uh, if, we can, if we're gonna be able to top that the rest of the set. Uh, I don't really see any, anything else in here that I care about. Labyrinth Tank is garbage. Wall Shadow, meh. Deal for the Legend, meh. Um, got some Gravekeeper, but it's it, it's the Gravekeeper boss monster, which is great, but we need a lot more Gravekeepers, uh, many more Gravekeepers before we can make it playable. Harpy's Dancer is also pretty good. Um, our Harpy's archetype of the era, but again, need more Harpy's cards. But Pot of Greed, massive. Second pack, ooh, Horn of Heaven. Is this the one? Okay, that's pretty good. Unfortunately, I don't like the idea of having to tribute my own monster, but that's fine. Alligator Sword is at least a playable vanilla level four. Lava Golem making a comeback. I'm actually very excited to see this. 
It's going in the deck. I'm telling you right now, it's going in the deck. Mess with Patrick. It's going to be great. The rest of the stuff, don't really care about. Sixth Sense is banned currently, isn't it? I feel like it is. Okay, okay, yes, Sixth Sense is 100% banned because it, there's no downside. Okay. Wow, that card, I now see that card is banned. I've never actually read it before, and that is absolutely busted. Third pack. Okay, we did get a Harpy's Lady. Rocket, I actually do like Rocket Warrior. A Magical Arm Shield is pretty fun as a uh, battle trap. Chaos Trap Hole. Okay. Pay 2,000 life points. That's not so bad. Um, we're definitely not going to be playing any real archetypes here. Imperial Iron Wall. Neither player can banish cards. So we're continuing the trend of the spell and traps being the uh, highlight of the packs. All right. Third pack. Let's see if we can continue it. Bottomless Trap Hole. That's pretty good. And Lava Golem. Oh, fans of the series knows how much I like Lava Golem. Don't know how useful Super Rejuve is going to be here or Book of Life. Uh, but we can definitely check it out here. I'm not seeing any other uh, dragons, but I'm seeing some dinosaurs, so maybe we can do something with that. But we'll see in the deck building. All right, next pack here. I mean, we're first two packs pretty good. Third pack not as good. We'll see how fourth pack is today. Cabazools, that's a dinosaur, unfortunately. And we have another Black Skull Dragon. So we have Gravity Bind here. So oof. Gravity Bind's an interesting card because with. Um, injection fairly we can actually get around it and still do a bunch of damage kunai chain also a very interesting card uh, I love it from the anime and uh, yeah this is gonna be very fairly interesting I'm not really seeing too much that I'm excited about okay now that we know gravity bind is in the game we need to have some form of way of getting rid of it so we'll see what we can pull here gravekeeper spy that's all right what else do we get crawling dragon number two so that's another dragon type monster that we can actually sack over for Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, so that gives us at least two targets. And then we also do have Horn of Heaven, which is pretty nice. Gravekeeper Spy. I don't know how useful that will be, because I don't think we got any other Gravekeepers in here. So, while it is a 200 defender, the flip is not going to be that important. I might just play just because of the 200 defender. But regardless, if James has not pulled a Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, I think we just win. Like, just right off of that. We will have to see, though, and I won't catch you guys in the deck builder. All right, we got some more Dark World, Lava Battle Guard is garbage. Goblin Attack Force is nice because it's playable. Twin Barrel Dragon is actually pretty good. This is, his effect is removal, I believe. Yes. Now, it's terrible removal and the fact that you have to get two heads and two coin flips, but it's removal. We're at least seeing some playable monsters here. Not these two, but the rest of them that we weren't seeing a bunch of in the previous packs. So the final pack, oh my god, another Pot of Greed. So... Good news. Suijin is actually pretty good too. Good and another Harpy Lady and Metal Morph. Okay, yeah. Good news. We can draw a quarter, almost a quarter of our, twenty percent of our deck in one turn with two pots of greed. Bad news. What are we going to be drawing for? There's nothing to play. Um, it's not going to be like last week where we've got a ton of spell and trap cards that can just constantly counter whatever Patrick's trying to do. So we, ha we have a lot of cards that facilitate playing the game, but not a whole lot of cards to actually play the game, which kind of sucks. But I think it might still be enough because it will allow us to keep up our tempo. And if we can overwhelm him before he gets anything, any sort of boss monster out there, we should be able to pull this off. It's also very important that we do that because we don't have a whole lot of removal, although Metal Morph is gonna be huge if he gets a high attack point monster out there. So. I'm very excited about this. A lot more excited than I thought it would be for a Joey's World opening. Yeah, see you guys in the deck builder. All right, so back to 20 cards again. I know I've been decking myself out these last couple of duels and it's been a problem, but I think this time it is very important for me to have 20 cards because I have such a great strategy. First of all, got right Geki, okay? I want to draw that card. I want to be able to blow up James's board. Uh, aside from that, I mean, Darkness Metal Dragon's great. Uh, so Cave Dragon uh, cannot be normal summoned if I have another monster on my field. So I just normal summon and then I just sack him away for Darkness Metal Dragon and its effect doesn't matter. Um, in addition, if I do that and Crawling Dragon number two, for example, is in the graveyard for whatever reason, I can just summon him. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, other than that, like I've got a couple beaters here, 1700, 1800. Um, I've got Black Stego. So this card I can put in attack position 
But if it's targeted for an attack, I can just flip it to defense, and I'm betting James isn't going to read that. So I'm just going to probably put it in an attack position to start, and he's probably going to try to attack into it with something that, you know, 1900 or something, to take, out, take a little bit of chip damage there. We've got Beige, 1600 beater. I really just needed something that I can get on the field and then tribute for. Similarly, I've got Injection Fairy Lily in case James decides to run Gravity Bind. I will be putting this down. Uh, I also do have uh, Lava Golem in the side deck in case I'm seeing some Gravity Bind shenanigans. I can put Lava Golem out there. I know he can't remove it, and I'll just Lava Golem him, and he'll just burn the whole game away just because he played Gravity Bind. I do not want him to play Gravity Bind. Uh, other than that, a Panther Warrior is kind of a similar situation to ca um, Cave Dragon. I can't uh, attack with this card unless I tribute a monster. But the point of this card is more to wall up than anything. Similarly with Grave Creeper Spy, both of them are 2,000. So I can defend. I can also just sack it over this one for Suijin, and then Suijin's on the field, and that's just better. Or no, Suijin is a two tribute. Well, I have to sack over two monsters for it, but whatever. As far as the uh, uh, spell lineup, I just have Raigeki and Graceful Dice. Graceful Dice is just between 1 and 100 and 600. Uh, gain of attack or defense, depending on what I roll. Then I have Bottleless Trap Hole in case a summon happens. I need to be on the lookout for this. Uh, I don't want to get my uh, Darkness Metal Dragon bottomless. Uh, but if I have Jinzo on the field already, that'd be not a problem. Uh, I do have Coffin Cellar as well, so if I'm blowing through a lot of James's monsters, then this will do 300 damage for each. Dice rerolls in case that I roll a dice that I don't like, or if James rolls a dice that's really good and I want to reroll it. This also works pretty well with uh, Blowback Dragon here, so that makes sure that I roll. Or no, that's, that's coin flips. What am I talking about? Uh, in addition, I've got Kunai with Chain. That's just another uh, good little battle trap here. And then I've got Rope of Life in case uh, one of my monsters gets destroyed by battle. Uh, like uh, Cave Dragon, for example, and I really want it, so I'm going to summon it back. So, that's kind of my lineup. And then the side deck, we've got just a bunch of garbage. Kind of mentioned the only thing that's useful here, which is Lava Golem. James is going to crap his pants if I ever bring this out. That'd be awesome. I'd love to see it. But I think this will be an interesting game, and I'll see you guys in the duel. All right, so this is actually pretty easy to put together. I just eliminated everything that I couldn't play, which is actually a lot of zombie support, um, and then threw everything else on the side deck. So, oh, and then uh, crappy cards like Guilford and stuff that, well, I guess Guilford's technically on the side, side deck, but whatever. So basically, we just have a whole ton of monsters here. The plan here is to, um, we want to get Sujin on the field. Sujin's our personal boss monster. Its effect is amazing. There is some removal here. Um, in this set, uh, I went over it in the beginning. Didn't pull a whole lot of it ourselves, but it does exist. We've got some ways to stop them from summoning. Uh, stop Patrick from summoning, but that's about it. Um, so that's why we have so many monsters in here. The Lava Golem is nice removal. It'll burn them. And if he does, if it does become a problem, we always have Metal Morph. We can throw it on one of our, our monsters attack him, problem solved. Um, we got the two pot of greed, obviously. The tribute doll exists just so I can get Suijin out there for one as opposed to two. And then we have our traps here to prevent summoning or to protect us during battle. Side decks, basically everything that might be useful in uh, depending on what Patrick's playing. Um, if he's playing something that's ripping cards out of my hand, obviously, well, first off, the Dark Worlds are going to be nice, but also Despair from the Dark. Um, that's going to be super useful. We'll side in there. If he's playing a lot of Fiends, we'll throw in Shadow Tamer. And then if we're winning super hard just for the lulls, we might throw in Guilford, this Black Pendant, and Sixth Sense. I'm not playing Sixth Sense because, long story short, I'm running a 20-card deck that isn't Light Sworn. If I get the what's supposed to be the negative effect of discarding X number of cards, it's not going to benefit me in any way, shape, or form. Needless to say, this card is absolutely busted in actual Yu-Gi-Oh!, but in this very limited format with a 20-card deck, it's basically useless. But it still earned its place in my side deck. Oh, I almost forgot this. Rocket Warrior. It's actually... Not terrible if I can say he's probably only get, going to get to use its effect for one turn, but get it out there, attack, lower up uh, one of Patrick's monsters by 500, then I can probably run it over with something else. And that's basically why he's in there. But yeah, so I'm very excited. I think that our spell and trap pulls, well, not quite as good as last week, almost completely made up for by the pot of greed this week. 
and the fact that Lava Golem shenanigans are on the table again means that I might be able to get Patrick back for Season 1, where he completely demolished me with Lava Golem. It's going to be fun. I'll see you guys in the duel. All right, James, here we are. Joey's uh, Joey's Mega World, or whatever the heck it's called. Joey's World. <laughs> Joey's World. Are you amazed by Joey's fantastical monsters? I actually think this is probably the best set of cards I've pulled this all se all season. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, easily, easily, buddy. When you see this crap, you're gonna just be like, you pulled that. So uh, yeah, uh, it's kind of crazy. So I'm gonna go That's ahead and stand by stand by main here. Uh, I'm gonna go and just run out a uh, crawling dragon here and put a incon inconspicuous card in. Uh, inconspicuous? Inconspicuous. Shut up. <laughs> and uh, I'll end my turn. All right, so. I will do. Draw. How do I want to do this? That is I'm a going good question. To normal summon twin barrel dragon. Effect on summon, targeting your back row. I need to flip two coins, both of them are heads. That card is popped. Okay. So, first one is, come on heads, come on heads, come on heads. It's That's already tails. tails. What's the other one? Because I have to flip two coins. Come on, come on, come on. All right. All, oh. right. All right. All right, anyway. so I'm going to go ahead and bottomless. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Okay. Battle phase. I will attack I expect your as monster. Much. I will take 100. Thank you for putting that in the graveyard for me. And no uh. problem. <laughs> Main phase two, I will set a card and pass. Very well. I will draw that. That's probably one of the worst cards I could have drawn. Uh, <laughs> stand by main. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and run out a uh, Dunami's Dark Witch. Oh, okay. I will uh, activate Coffin Cellar. What does that do? Go into battle. Basically, if I kill it, I get uh, you take 300 bonus damage. All right. On attack declaration, I'm going to Metal Morph, targeting Twin Barrel Dragon. He gains 300, and your monster's destroyed. All right. What the heck? Okay, equip this card to that target. It gains 300 attack. If it attacks, it gains attack. Oh, wow. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you so only take 200 I, here, obviously. I did. I take 200. That's that's not great. I do have an answer to that, but we'll go ahead and end my turns. So you're at 2,000 for that uh, twin barrel dragon. That's yep. That puts me in a little bit of a rough situation. Here. I'm going to summon Goblin Attack Force. Oh, I'm wow. I'm going to hit you for 4,300 points. Wow, damage. yeah. 4,300. There you go. There it is. End of the battle phase. Goblin attack force goes to the defense position. Okay. And I pass. All right. Let's see what I can draw. Okay. Stand by me. I will set this card. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and set this card. Uh, and then I'm going to have Regeki. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That'll do it. Blow up all of your cards. Yep. Uh, well, actually, rather than setting, I'm just going to... I'm going to... Uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just normal summon him. Uh, if you're okay with that. I don't care. Do the damage to me. Okay. Uh, I will just do a 400. What is it? Injection. Oh, okay. By the Sorry. way, uh, you take 600 from my coffin cellar. Ah. Just as an FYI. I'm just going to attack here. All right. Cool. Your move. Your move. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> All right. So dramatic. Yeah. So, I mean, I figure I might as well keep it up in attack position because, you know... <laughs> Yeah, no. If you want to attack into a 3,400 beater, go for it. Be my guest. I mean, you'd have to pay 2,000 for it. I, that so is true. I do have to pay 2,000 for it. You can only do it once. I can only do it once, which is unfortunate. So I am going to summon Beige. Okay. Battle phase. Okay. I will attack. On attack decoration, I will kunai with chain, applying both effects simultaneously. Okay. Sorry, one so. Second. So uh, change your monster to defense, and my guy gains 500. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> Indeed, it is my move. Stand by. Also, me. kunai goes away. By the way, it's an uh, it's an equip, doesn't it? It nope. stays. It was oh, not equipped. Right. I I should not have left metal morph on the field. Okay. Well, then I was terrified about metal morph. <laughs> I mean, no. So it stays. Um. But. Uh, okay. Well, anyway. It's not an um. Board, so. Also, the effect does stay as well. Okay. Oh, the effect it, does stay. The effect, the effect lingers. Whatever. But are you not attacking me? Nope. Uh, why would I want to attack you? I'm only at 900. I mean, you can boost up your. Yeah, but that's gonna cost me a lot. <laughs> a lot that I don't want to spend right now. All right, your move. I will summon alligator sword. 
Okay. Switch beige to attack position. Okay. Battle phase. Beige okay. will attack your injection fairly. Okay. That does to graveyard, and I take what? Six and seven hundred. Seven hundred. Okay. Are and you gonna continue? Attack with alligator sword. I'm gonna rope of life here, and I'm basically just gonna block it with uh, with injection fairy lily. So I only take three hundred. If you could do the math here, because that's eight hundred gain. It's at uh, discard your entire hand. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm okay. going to. I just wanted to make sure that you're okay with that. Just an FYI, uh, you don't have to summon it in attack position. Okay, then I summon in defense position and take no damage. Okay. Yeah, I was, that's that's what I was reading about it, so you can regain those 300 life points. Okay. I'll be nice and let you know uh, that. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Coffin Cellar is still on the field. Yes, it is. Apple, obviously. All right. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to run this guy out. And my turn. Black Stego. Change the card to defense position. Okay. Dang it. Okay. I was hoping you weren't going to read that and just <laughs> run into it. Patrick, did you watch <laughs> Progression Series a couple weeks ago? No. I was running dinosaurs with three black steak. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, okay. So, bad news for you in that front. Um, I see. I am going to, is this, you should, uh, sent to your opponent's graveyard, okay. Yep, so, so take, I'll take, take 300. Okay, so you're tributing, got it. For Lesser Fiend. Okay. Battle fe phase, Lesser Fiend will attack black stego. Okay. It's gonna switch to defense and then get banished. Yep. And Got then it. I will attack for 16. Sounds good. I will see if I can draw anything to win. I was going to say, start. can you top deck something we'll that see. allows you to not lose? Uh, the math does not does not add up here, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to admit defeat. I'm so surprised. I'm so surprised. All right. That worked out pretty well. All right. Well, we'll see if I do better this time. I'm not doing too hot just so far. Oh my god. Wow. Oh my god. This right. hand opening. I'm gonna set. I'm gonna set. I'm gonna run out a cave dragon and end my turn. Cave dragon. Cannot be normal summoned when you control a monster. You do not control another dragon. monster. Sitting there just okay. a 200 beater that 2, doesn't 000. do anything. Or 2000 beater that doesn't do anything right it's, now. <laughs> so the, the image is not loading on my side. I see, I see. So I didn't. So I'm gonna let you know in a little secret. I pull. I didn't pull very many good monsters. Fair enough. But you pulled a really good trap card or spell trap. I mean, I pulled okay, okay traps. I pulled really good spells. Gotcha. All right. Where's the right guy? That I mean, I activate pot of greed. Two pot of greed. All so right. I'm gonna draw four here. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I didn't get any of that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Where's the right geki now? <laughs> I'm going to summon Goblin Attack Force. That's great. I'm going to bottomless it. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Uh, we'll that will banish. do it. <laughs> I could have baited it, but I don't really want to right uh, now. I will set... Okay. Hmm. I will set two. Okay. And I will pass. Sounds good. I'm going to Tribute Summon. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, Jinzo. All right. Jinzo, baby. Jinzo. Jin Jinzo is very good. Jinzo is very good. I'm not too worried about what you got in your back row right now. So no, that's fair. Forward. That's fair. So All Jinzo's, right, let's see. That's why I wanted to get the cave dragon out there, because I was like, eh, it's basically a 2,000k wall. Or 2,000 uh, 2,000 k. 2,000 k. Yeah, it's 2 million. Defense. Okay, so I'm going to summon Twin Barrel on okay. Summon Tarting Jinzo. All right, let's hope for no heads. Come on, heads. Come on, heads. Come on, heads. Ooh, Straight to tails again. Oh, that's good one? to see. I, I have to know what the second one is. Oh, yeah, okay. wow. That was really bad. All right. All right. Well, I mean, that, that gives me a little bit of solace, I guess. I mean, you weren't going to get it either way. No, all right, obviously. Sounds good to but... me. All right. I'm going to run out a Dunami's Dark Witch yeah. in my main phase, obviously. Uh, battle, I mean, I'm just going to attack you for... 100 there and then 24 so you're declaring its effect sorry i had uh sounds it, good it, it gave me the menu and the menu wouldn't go away uh, fair enough all right jinzo is uh it's he's not my best card but he's pretty good i got really good monsters i will say that my spell trap wasn't that good so i'm really going to monsters. special summon okay on your side of the field 
Oh, great. This one. Lava Golem. Okay. That's fine with me. I'll take him. So that deals with the Jinzo problem. That does deal with the Jinzo problem for now. But I now have Lava Golem. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Which is its own problem for you. One problem at a time, okay? Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Um, I am going to... And this is all in your draw phase. Yeah, all of it in my draw phase. <laughs> okay, uh, you're gonna run out of beige. So in beige. 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 Got it, okay. I'll activate tribute doll. What does this do? Special summon one level seven monster from the Okay, sounds good. I will tribute beige to special summon Suijin. It cannot okay. attack this turn. Sounds good. Uh, so I will set a card, and I will pass. Sounds good. I mean, depending on what that set card is, I might just win here. Don't forget to Miss. take 1,000. I will take 1,000, no worries. I'm on the 8-turn clock. I have to get some damage in this That's, that's fair. I'm going to summon a Black Stego and Raigeki. And Raigeki. <laughs> bye bye to Suijin. By the way, yeah. you do realize that that's a 2-tribute, uh, right? It's a level 7. Oh, okay. Tribute oh, all. gotcha, gotcha. It's specifically for level sevens. Okay, yep, I, that's game. I, yeah, that's game. I'll just thank you for the uh, thank you for the love goal. That's pretty nice of you to give me that. I think I'll go first this time. That is fine by me, James. You can enjoy the going first. <laughs> I I will need it. Wow. All right. Well, that's so. This is the first time I've drawn him. He is hopefully going to come out in this uh, in this episode. Wow. Dragon, dragon zombie. zombie. Wow. Okay, so you were running. At, you're on dragons, or you're not on dragons. You're I'm on, on dragons. Good job. You're also probably Good on dragons. Job. I'm gonna set a card. I'm gonna run out a Dunami's Dark Witch, and I'll go in to try to sack over that. Yeah, that's fine. All right, take the I don't two. Don't use that yet. Is it Metamorph? I'm going to activate <laughs> Pot of Greed to, to draw, draw two, two additional, additional cards from my deck. deck. All right, sounds good. That'd be funny. It wouldn't make any sense to do that, but it'd be funny. <laughs> Whatever's funny works for me. See, the problem is, like, I want to bring out my guy, my boy. My the boy. The big boy. The big one. But uh, I haven't been able to just quite yet. So I'm going to summon one of Joey's favorite cards. Okay. Rocket Warrior in attack position. Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just bottomless that. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, Indeed, that's yeah. fair. <laughs> All right, I will set one and uh, pass. Okay, this is a pass situation. Wow. Uh, okay, I'm going to go shuffle so you don't know what I do. Uh, I'm going to sack over for Jinzo. Uh, no. Okay, so you guys will probably notice that right now it's James's turn. Um... <laughs> But I am doing things because James was wrong with uh, with his uh, this card over here that happens to be Chaos Trapple. Fortunately, anyway, fortunately we have a uh, Konami Judge in the house. Fortunately, again. we do have a Konami Judge. I was about to just let it ride and just go for it, whatever. But uh, James went and got, grabbed him, and uh, he said uh, that James is wrong. So yeah, take two thousand four hundred to the dome, and then just do your turn as normal. Okay, so I will draw <laughs> for turn start. Oh, I will okay. gain my 2,000 back for uh, the trap pull effect, though. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. You should definitely do that as well. Yes, I, I'll need so. those. I will pot of greed. Pot, I, well, I knew that was coming out because that's what you did while <laughs> yeah, we were That's waiting. exactly what I did. <laughs> so I will summon the great, okay. the one, the only, snow. Unlight of Dark World. What the heck is this card? And then I will activate Tribute Doll to send him to the graveyard. Fair enough. Okay. It sounds Summon good. Summon Suijin in attack position. <laughs> okay, but he can't attack this turn. He cannot attack this turn. Go ahead. Are we just going to have a repeat of what happened last turn? I hope not, because if you play Regeki, I'm going to be I'm so I'm going to normal summon an Injection Fairy Lily and activate Regeki for game. <laughs> That's exactly game, too. Yes. Well, no, it's a little bit more than game, because Injection Fairy oh, Lily becomes yeah, 34. Yeah, three, uh, yeah, you gain 3,000. You're not moving to 2,000. Yes. So yeah. I think that's just game. Wow. Okay. So that was not my strategy at all. So let me see what my next draw is going to be. Okay. My next draw was going to be game. Okay. So, next draw. so basically, let's say that you cleared my field. I would like to normal summon 
the cave dragon. Okay, and I might be thinking to yourself, it's cave dragon. It sucks. What are you doing with it? Except for the fact that I would have cleared your shield I'm gonna, doing this. Well, whatever. I'm gonna banish it. Like if my my field has to be empty for cave dragon to come. Yes. Out. Yes, it does. Okay. Let's say my field my field is empty or whatever. Uh, I banish the cave dragon, and you know it comes out on a banish of a dragon. Hmm. Darkness metal dragon. Oh, shut the fuck up. Chaos trapple. I, that's what I was worried about was uh, was all the trap and like the removal crap. So that's why I had Jinzo in there because I was like, I'm yeah, telling I'm you, dude, it was 100% Jinzo. One hundred like the Regeki was <laughs> annoying, but it was the Jinzo that really did me in because I couldn't like. That wow. Just couldn't. Yeah, you really couldn't do anything. I can't, Jinzo just shut down your whole deck, and then you brought out mm -hmm. Sujin, and every time you brought out Sujin, I'm like, Regeki. So, I don't think the Gate Guardian pieces get enough love, in my opinion. Each of the Gate Guardian pieces, especially for when they came out, had... Oh, you had a freaking <laughs> lot of golem, too. That's what I said. I drew that. I drew that, too. Had, uh... They, like, so their effect is actually pretty good, because at the time, there was still plenty of removal. As you can see, like, Regeki still existed. Um, you could obviously mm -hmm. prevent it from being summoned for some of the trap holes, or I guess react to the summon. But as far as battle effects are concerned, it was it, it, it is pretty good. And Gate Guardian is hilarious because the boss monster itself is absolute garbage compared to yeah, the, the boss pieces. monster is terrible. The pieces are so much better. Yes, they are. And Suijin, by the way, is basically my boss monster. Like I said, I did not draw really any good monsters in here basically the highlight of my draws were those two pot of greeds and they yeah. book, they, they bookended too so start opened up with a start with pot of greed and with the pot of greed but everything in between was just not great i will s share this what i cited in in for game three though if I can was find the it. chaos trap hole no i had or, that in the entire oh, time. You did. Okay, shadow tamer this? it's a flip monster flip Target one fiend monster your opponent controls, take control of that target until the end phase. Okay, what well, were you gonna, gonna target with that? My lava golem that I gave you. Oh! I didn't even realize he was a fiend. I thought he was a like, fiend. A, a, like, a, like a fire or something, or a pyro. Nope, nope, had, he's a fiend. I had fiend support, I didn't even think of that. That's crazy, okay. Regardless, I think that uh, that's a good way of tying it up this season, James. So I'm pretty. I happy think so. That. We're hitting the midpoint next we week, are so hitting the midpoint. one of us has to. Take well, no, the lead. we're not at the midpoint just quite yet, as our eagle eyed viewers will know. Uh, we're having a little bit more than ten episodes this season, so. That's true. Still that's a little ways that, to go. Still a little ways to go. It's some of the people but, uh, producing the show even forgot. I E. Yes. I E U. Yes, but I don't forget this stuff because this is literally my part of the company to manage. <laughs> So, but yeah, thank you guys for joining us uh, this week, and we hope that you guys enjoy the rest of the content on the channel, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Be sure to swing by on the uh, Twitch channel every Sunday to catch some more Yu-Gi-Oh! content. We've got the progression series going on, where uh, I am currently doing about as well as I am here, not going to lie. Michael's winning most of, most of the episodes. So you're running, what, 50-50? <laughs> I'm right, yeah, I, 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 I have a, my KDA's one. Fair it's enough. It's a solid enough. one. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. See ya.